stream that's healthy, there will be a diverse, robust community of organisms living that will fill all the niches and perform all the functions that would be indicative of a healthy ecosystem. And where there's some kind of perturbation or pollution, those would the, the community we find would be more limited. And it could be both limited in numbers and limited in diversity. So the larger rocks I want to just rub off and throw out of there. And then I'm going to disturb the bottom. So you can see that I'm starting to stir up mud and a little bit of sediment. But one thing about this creek is that it's not really sedimented in. The, the, the material in the bottom of the creek moves very easily. And so I have disturbed the bottom sort of down to the depth of my, of my fingers, stirring it all around. Okay, then what we get, of course we get a bunch of rocks that I don't necessarily want, but we also get organisms. Okay, so I'll hold this for you if you want to disturb, like, pick up those rocks and rub He's them off. Seal, I think. Pick them up like that and rub them off in front of the net. And I'll keep pushing the water through. So you rub those off and then put them out to the side after you've rubbed them off. This is a caddisfly, which is a trichoptera. Uh, so it's a case builder at this case. And then if we looked at the end of the claw on this leg, this stonefly would have two claws and the mayfly would have one claw. Okay, and this is actually another stonefly. A stonefly would have two cerci or tails, so that's that. A mayfly normally would have three, but sometimes has two. The key to health in these streams is diversity. So we, once we get the data, we work it up into a number of metrics. And what I was going to say is one of the metrics that's indicative of a very healthy water is called an EPT index, which is Ephemeroptera, Plecoptera, Trichoptera. EPT index, and those are mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies. So if there's a lot of those and there's a lot of diversity of those, your site is going to score well. And this site has almost exclusively mayfly, stonefly, and caddisfly. So it's a, it's, it is at first glance a very healthy site. Mm -hmm.